All right, we're here with Julius, the number one bencher in the world. Uh, Current and ever, you know? We got something big today, yeah. no? Yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make it happen. Actually, we're on the show. We got two number one uh, competitors in the world right here. We got Hack, too. Oh, yeah. All time, all time, too. I'm not gonna bench as much as him, but all time, my best. I think what we're gonna do is me and Hack are gonna get together and bench uh, what Julius does by himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we got that. We got that, huh? Yeah, it's we all got, good, or, or deadlift it. One of the two. Yeah. Now, deadlift it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trap bar, definitely. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna make it happen today. It's exciting. Yeah, it's gonna be dope, man. Training with two of the best in the world right now, man. You never get an opportunity like that every day, so um, we're gonna get after it. And I can't wait to see Julius get over seven bills and higher, you know? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna happen for sure. We just, yeah. I just wanna know, I just wanna see you jump Hack, over Hack this eight bench bills. with the, oh, eight bills, absolutely. <laughs> We want to see you jump over this bench with a skateboard. Oh, damn. Yeah, we need to set a skateboard out. And you just basically... How many 45s do you think you could jump over? 40? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I wonder how many. I mean, eight? I'm just thinking like for deadlifts, if you have eight or nine, it's probably like what, like this? I'd say maybe you a little taller. Yeah. You probably get like maybe this. Like I think eight, at least eight. Eight-ish. I did a little. That's crazy. I did a little trash can the other day. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. That's what I was just talking to him about about uh, um, how you jump those four skateboards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just crazy, crazy. I know. I surprised myself on that shit. That's dope, man. You can do dope. it though. You can do it. Yeah, I can do it. In the board. In another board. life. Oh shit. Yeah, it's just rough. Yeah, it's no joke. It's fun though, man. It's fun. But today. You gotta put on a bench yeah, clinic, big oh, dog. Oh yeah, man, we about to, hey, we want all the smoke. We're about to go down. You gotta, you, uh, before, when you're just warming oh, up, you gotta kind of like show me your like technique yeah, a little bit. I will. I'm gonna look at the bar, is this the only bar we have? No, nah, they, they got a, which bar are you looking for? Power bar? Yeah, power, some kind of power bar. Texas power bar? Yeah. Yeah, we got Texas that. Texas power, uh, I gotta keep up with Hack. I, I gotta keep up with Hack because I can't keep up with Julius. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Hack's light day, so I gotta jump on. I planned it this way, so when Hack was on his light day, I said, like, let's work out, let's work out, you know? Because <laughs> on his heavy day, I can't hang, you know? But uh, on the light day, I think I can hang with the light day. You know? I do. Julius' light day? I, I don't think I can hang with Julius' light day, though. Man, I'm usually on my. What's your light day like? like uh, 525 to 600. <laughs> it's like, that's a D load. I don't think uh, we can hang on his light day, you know? <laughs> yeah, y'all can hang. 600 sure, pound man. D load. I'm the low end of the light Yeah, day. yeah. I'm yeah. the low end. But listen, my day left or my squat isn't where it should be either, though. So. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah. The bench makes up for it. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. The bench makes up for it. I think if you still. If you still did a comp at a 2200. Yeah, 2200. If I, Josh said if I had anywhere from 10 to uh, 15 weeks, if I just ran a program, he said uh, my, my squat would definitely be overnight. Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Squatting is all about size, I feel like, you know. <laughs> having the frame to be able to support. Hold it, hold yeah. that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's about to go down today. Epic, epic, epic. So we're shooting for 765. Um, him and Hack is gonna go in today. Uh, we're just gonna have a crazy bench session. We're here at Threshold in, what's this, uh, Ontario, California? Ontario, yeah. In Ontario, California. And uh, we're gonna eat some uh, pupusos afterwards. Is that, did I say yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounded yeah. like kind of weird saying that. Nah, nah, you're yeah. straight. Did I say that right? Yeah. Pupusos, so, um, guys. Pupusa. Pupusa, yeah, pupusa. So that's what we're gonna eat today after uh, this bit session. How many got 50? I, I'm gonna eat 50 of them. 50 I'm gonna break a record each. Stay tuned, Ooh, stay tuned. So uh, yeah, stay tuned guys, record. we're about to get it. Hell yeah. Gotta kick it off with the dead game. John Hack says he doesn't dome shot it, he likes to mix it like a normal person. <laughs> but you know I gotta dome shot it. Dome shot. Big one, I need a big one today. Okay. Gotta kick it off with the time to bleed too. Get everything at strengthcartel.com. Dome shop. Sometimes it looks silly, but I feel that uh, you know, like I'm really getting the blood flow that I need, and like really warming up the muscles that are needed for a bench press. And this is something that 
Um, I've, like I said, I've introduced over the past six weeks, and I just feel I feel better. I was having a lot of clicking in my elbows before, uh, you know, coming to, whenever I was coming to the gym, warming up, just straight, jumping straight to the bar or uh, with 135. And I just, like I told Hack, like I just never felt like I was properly warmed up. So um, I, started, I used to do bands, but it's just easier to do higher reps, uh, lightweight, a uh, couple rounds. And the difference is, is both, each round has a different angle. So, uh, for example, the normal tricep extension is coming down, and on the second round, I'm gonna come out. Let's hit a nice 25. And then I just rotate, go from uh, a lat pull down, a seated row and maybe some dumbbell, uh, some dumbbell presses in. Oh, I'm ready to go. So I don't have to do it. That's no, no, I want to do that's it. That's the stuff I that I do. So we'll get started. We'll set up a set. Uh, pass me. Second round, you do higher, like more up, 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 up. That's a bad little pumper right there. That's a bad little pumper. It's almost like hard to like not pull faster and like jerk yeah. the weight. Oh. I said Lee's already the best bencher in the world. Why would he come do what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, Lee. Yeah. Lee's already the best bencher in the world. Yeah. Oh, there's yet. He He's the number one uh, kung fu fighter bencher in the oh. world. <laughs> Is that the dude that fights? No, no, no. Uh, no. I don't know if the dude that you had on the squad is a boxer or something like that. Yeah, boxer. Which one? Which one? Out of control. The rest we doing? 30. 30? First time I thought like, I'm telling you, go for the 220. I'm trying to tell this guy. Hey, hey, hey! If 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 if, this, if you already had the uh, 181. And the 198. Wouldn't you just go get the 220? Oh, absolutely. He's got. He's got it. No, he he wants to go beat his 198 again. I got goals at 198. See? see? Oh, so I'm, but he wants to solidify so no one already no one can touch the 198 record. But he wants to even have it like be on another universe yeah. type shit. You know? I got you. I got you. Yeah. Hey, there's some people say the same thing about me. They're like, well, why don't you? Uh, why do you keep chasing at that body weight? Why don't you try to crack under 308? I'm like, if, I, if, I, if he cracked under 308, this guy would be nothing. This guy would be. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I would wither away, for sure, for sure. So, uh, I can't even picture you. But uh, what are you weighing in right now? 444. Damn, so you're. Yeah. you're uh, I'm lighter 24? than I was. No. I'm lighter than I was before. You told me you're uh, 420. No, then? Yeah. When you tried the 800, how much were you then? No, I was 464. Uh, oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, I was 464. Oh, I just yeah. recently lost weight. So I went from 464 back down to uh, 435, and now I'm back up coming into this. Uh, this, oh uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna get interesting. So I know I'm stronger than that I was. A little lighter, yeah, that's yeah, cool. lighter. So it's the first. Well, I don't want to say the first time, but first time in a long time, I'm the lighter guy. You know what I mean? I'm usually got a hundred pounds on everybody. Hey, but he can he can he can get on a skateboard and do <laughs> stuff that I can't even fathom of doing. I was thinking, I was like. Big boy's doing it. You can do it. I need to go do it. I need to go try it. So whenever I go out to Cali, we can do it together. Like, like we can get on some skateboards and do some tricks together. Do it. I woke up. 
I want back to be completely warmed up. Um, I want my stabilizers to be firing. So there's no mishaps at all. There's no tweaks. You start going to like a therapist, physical yeah. therapist, whatever. Yeah. That supports this. They say for every for every push movement, you want to have two pulling movements, meaning two pulling variations. So anytime you do, you got uh, a bench day incline or anything like that scheduled. Uh -huh. You want to make sure you double up. I, 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 I quadruple up. So every push movement I have, I have four pull pull movements. So I hit back every single day. I'm doing some type of back variation. What's your goal? Every single day. You gotta have that strong back. You gotta have a strong back. You gotta have a launching pad for the bench. So, and it's mainly, basically all it is is just stabilizing. That's how you stabilize the weight. When you have a, 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 when the weight is more stable, the movement is more fluent. You have more leverage, right? Yeah, Because if you're all over the place, you can't, you know what I mean? That's why. Well, that makes sense. That's why I never could do, uh, like geared lifting is because it's really tough and it's just hard to stay stable. Yeah. Period. It just looks ugly. It's shifting. Oh, absolutely. Scott Mendelson hit me with that. He was like, "Oh yeah, Julius Max, you can't." Man. <laughs> well, I'm here. You did. I'm here to tell you today. I'm about to bench 60 pounds over your uh, one rep max. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Looking, but I'll, I'll see your setup. I know. Oh yeah. Being big, your setup is probably different than mine or hacks or. Yeah. It's a little big. I mean, I still slide up the bar and and set up that way. But uh, for the most part, the, the the biggest thing is just making sure that I'm on a bench where my back uh, aligns with the pad. Because if it's a thin, any other thin pad, like I'm I'm always moving unstable. So you know? this one feels pretty yeah. good. Oh, absolutely. They have the ghost, ghost rack at Tiber, which will be nice. Yeah, they uh, they made me a, a special pad to fit my bench. Damn. So it's, it's, it's legit. It's sweet. Must be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must be nice to get the special treatment. Yeah, we, not, listen, that's probably one of the few perks that I'll have. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. No, that's dope. That's dope. Help, help this guy out, man. Yeah. I'm doing, I mean, I, I, so just training, training full time. And help this guy out, because this guy's, uh, this guy does some weird shit, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't, help bring, him out. I wouldn't bring my head up as far off the bench either, though. The reason why is because you lose back tightness. So yeah. don't bring your head up. So when you bring your head up, you, 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 everything in you should be pressing against the bench. Your head, your chest, everything. It's like a pigeon though, you know how the pigeons yeah. so walk with their head like that? As you're coming down, drive your heels to the ground. There you go, right there. Head on the bench. Come on, pigeon. There Get you go. Back. It looks a lot better already. So the, the, the whole thought process behind it, yeah. when you drive your heels, you're almost thinking you want to drive yourself up the bench. You want to drive yourself all the way up the bench. That's what you're thinking. It's not going to happen, but that's what you want is, is to drive your heels into the ground for that leg drive to transfer through your from your quads through your core, exerting through here. So that's where I think things got a little bit interesting with me when I changed my technique as far as leg drive is it just helped generate more explosivity. So from driving from my heels through my quads, exerting through here. But it's almost like, yeah, like you're trying to drive yourself up the bench. I got a question. Yeah. So for me, like, there was like one day where it just clicked for leg drive. Did that happen to you at all? Like, yeah, it was yeah. just it, from it's, practicing it over and over again. Uh, so for the first four or five months after I changed it, it was just uncomfortable, but I did it anyway. But then I, my, the way I, I adapted to those leverages, I started to feel different and it just clicked. Yeah. But that's for me, like breaking it down like a playbook, like watching my videos, video after video and just seeing um, where I'm messing up at because I used to have a problem with my feet sliding out from underneath me. And as soon as that foot slid, I'm already unstable. So uh, by me keeping my feet behind my knees and keeping my feet to the ground using that leverage, I stay tight, right? So that's the whole point is everything should be tight. From your uh, feet to your quads, to your core, your back, um, even your, your, your grip strength, everything should be tight. So. Once one of those things breaks, oh, yeah. breaks down, then you have a, um, you're gonna, it's just like a weakness in a chain, you know? Something's gonna, something else is gonna break down. So a lot of times, that's why we, we 
uh, when we're locking out and the load, it seems a bit on the higher side, um, we have a breakdown of form because something gives out first. You lose tightness somewhere, where, whether a foot slips, you flare your elbows out, or something, something like that, you know, so. Just breaking it down. Massive. Watch the setup. Let's watch the setup. Okay. Same setup. You squeezing your blades back there? Yeah, my back is distracted. So you're just squeezing in like yeah. that? Boom. Like doing it in his mind. Let's get tight up in there. Training you, it's like eating, recovery. Like, what do you spend more time on? There's always something that each one of us like that we more gravitate to. So. Um, eating, sleeping. I would say sleep. Um, like, sleep. at least this last prep, I've really like tried to change up my sleeping pattern. Yeah. And very, very like quarantine. <laughs> quarantine has probably been one of the best things. Oh uh, yeah. Help you actually rest your body. Yeah. I would say like competing wise, rest. rest. How much rest can you get? Yeah. And then um, I think confidence, right? Like, yeah. that's, a big thing. that's a big one. Knowing that you hit close or your numbers are gonna hit the top. Yeah. And if you, you know how it is, like if you miss one, you're like, ah. Yeah. Oh. So right before that 800, I missed, uh, I missed 790. I remember that. I missed 790 and I was head, tore huh? up. Yeah. But I know th that it was there, but it just, yeah. New gym, new atmosphere, and I just felt like, you know, the inconsistency in my training. But, um, so this time we're gonna work up towards something crazy yeah, before yeah. we get to that 800, so. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna shock the world, huh? absolutely. Yeah. It's it it means it's everything. It. Yeah. I think the approach we're doing now is a lot smarter with like, yeah, you've hit the 771, now you're going up to 780, and then. Instead of just taking big jumps like yeah, a time you because I got like, I definitely went through that where I got into my head about like I want a 500 bench. And, like I kept being like, I was like a 455. I'm like I think I get 500. Instead of just one. taking like the small increments, yeah. like you kept jumping or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it just becomes more harder on yourself. Yeah. And it just it becomes it's a mental game at that point. Drop. Good. Drop. Yeah, like, like you were doing at the bottom of the lift when the bar is on your chest, mm -hmm. drive them heels through the floor. You're not gonna drive them through the floor, but that's the thought process, is you wanna push your heels down. Push them. That would that'd be the one thing that you would change right now? Mm -hmm. Everything else is solid. So when you're at the, doing that pause at the bottom, yeah. I mean, you should really fire off using driving your heels through the floor. Okay. And that should transition all the way up, exerting through here. Okay. So we're just here trying to better one another. Motivate and inspire one another. Yeah. Um, and part of that is drive through that. You see a need, trying to help fix it. You know, so. Trust the bar. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better. A lot better. Yep. How's that feel keeping your head down? A lot better. Yeah. So one thing too you can try to is maybe spread your spread your legs out a little more. Because your legs are so narrow, you're not you're not allowing yourself to you're not um, expanding your uh, to be the, the center of gravity. So you want to have your legs out to be able to stabilize even more. When they're closer together, your arms are wider than your legs are. So you kind of want to have that medium where you. Is it how yours is? Where you? Uh, I've actually, like, I noticed this recently, but like my feet have been getting a lot more narrow. Do you feel more stable doing that? Uh, not really. I'm gonna try. Like, I like, I actually noticed this last week where I'm like, oh shit, my my feet have like moved, keep moving in. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually focus on that. They would say like your your foot placement should. I mean, this is my understanding of what I believe in. Your foot placement should be either a hand width apart or a little further in. Yeah. Give or take, an inch in or an inch out, but yeah. somewhere in that vicinity. Um, it just seems like whenever your feet are closer together, when you shift here, 
there's nothing down here that's going to really support it. Your legs, your legs are more narrow. Your arms are wider than you. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? No, it does. It does. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and ramble on and, and, and no, be a, a, a bummer without. I'm soaking it all in. I'm just trying to learn. Yeah, this guy has a brain the size of a pigeon, so. Homie, speak this for yourself, is, dog. This, like this guy's has a brain the size of a pigeon, so. Homie. Yeah, yeah. Him, my cousin. Oh, speak for yourself, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got loyal riders. Hey, hey, hey you see, he knows. Hey, you see, uh, that was the one down. What's up, me, this, this, and that. He goes, but I'm loyal. That's true. That's true. Hey, hey, look, that's the number one right there, there you know? That's the number one rule right there. I got to give it I gotta give it to him with that comment, you know? Yeah, that's it. Like, uh, that's number who, one. who is it that says that? I think it's, uh, maybe... Gotta stay low to the big homie. Uh, people will take that out of context. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is, though. Loyalty over it all. Yeah, can I get a, uh, a lift off? Yeah. How do you like it? Oh, uh, it's good. Uh, hat. Julius. I'm already going heavy. Go time. Hey! Ah! I'm just, I don't know what's going on. I can do that. We'll get a workout. So, so this one's right. good right here, Julius? Yeah. Let's see. Move your feet up just a tad bit. This way? No, up, up towards me. Turn the forward a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now push yourself down. Yeah, push yourself down. Right there. There you go. Right. This is what we need right here. Your legs should already be tight. Yeah, already driving to the tent before you get started. You got, you got, you got the whole, so you, you got the lock This should already be tight. There you go. Drops. There you go. Drops. Drops. There you go. Do a playback later and watch how that first one hit the first and second rep. You hit that, you hit that leg, leg drive, yeah, yeah. it drove you up the, it moved you up the bench. Moved me up a little bit. So when that weight is heavy enough, well, I feel that shit now. What yeah, you're saying. that's what I'm saying. So when the weight's heavy enough, it's not gonna move you, but yeah. the energy's gonna go through here and not move you up the bench. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I do. So, when I first started using keto plates, I was it, like, there were three of them on. And I'm like, this don't feel like 315 at all. <laughs> like yeah, the kilograms, like they're totally different. Like this is actually on like, four, like three, the bar. Yeah. three ninety. Good. Driving heels at the bar. Nicely. Boom. Good. Drop them. There you go. Maybe you can slouch a little bit more too. Right here, like, closer to my yeah, core. Yeah, like, like, you know, bar right over your elbows. Okay. Keep that bar path as straight as possible. Okay, okay. You know what I'm mean? So what do you think about bar path? Uh, Some people will say... I... I come down straight, and then yeah. I almost like, up. when it gets really heavy, I'll come close to my head first, and then lock out. See, what I've learned, I mean, for me, is when the load is, is, is a lot upwards towards my world at max, it's easier to drive it back up towards my face, yeah. right? So, um, whenever you're coming from here, and the weight seems to stick, you just start to gradually drive it back up towards your face. Yeah, it's all like the, the, the exaggerated taste, what they call it. But I think too, that's for experience that where you you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, not just where you're trying to guess or you're you're, you're just starting to implement it. You want to kind of gradually learn how to that's, drive back up towards your face. Years, it does come from yeah, years. It's, it's really it's really hard for like a, a beginner to yeah conceptualize. It. Yeah. But no, what are you, what are you gonna, what do you do? Go up to? Um, what are you gonna do, hack? You sure? Yeah. The only thing we'll just have to take it down for him. That's fine. No problem. Yeah, okay. No problem. I got I wait time between. No man, we got wait time. We got plenty of time between sets. What's the uh, green red? I don't even know what that is. Huh? Three seventy five. It's gotta be yeah, something like that. Three seventy three, something like that. Wait a minute. Essential oils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is that right there? I think like three. Three seventy. No, 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 no
Oh, uh, hustle butter. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll just say, we'll leave it. We'll say uh, <laughs> hustle butter. Hustle butter. <laughs> I'll tell That's you, that I'll, magic sauce. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll show you what it is. <laughs> They'll show you later. Yeah. Rub that on your culo next time you deadlift. <laughs> Let's make it all hey, spicy you in there. Ready. Yeah. Hey, there's something we, we've done, I've done in the past. Like, I would get these oh, peppers. Yeah, Have you ever heard of the uh, California Reapers? Or the oh, Carolina yeah, Reapers? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the Carolina Reapers are hot peppers. And uh, like in the, when we'd be in the gym, if you're going for PR, you chew on the pepper. Yeah, and I mean, it would, it would light you up. But I've had <laughs> multiple people that I've had try the pepper, hit PRs. Mm -hmm. the pepper. Oh, it, it's, you it's, eat it before you lift? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I'm laying it's down. Pain, yeah. So if I, if I cough up, that stuff comes back up, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing control of the weight. It's over. The, the hot ones, hot sauce or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I thought I was having a heart attack. I was just like, oh, yeah. chest It'll was burning. Yeah. Next time I come out, the brakes on. Steady, homie. Like butter, like butter, easy money. This is what it's like when we get out, like you gotta like focus. He's That's like the bar. It's like the bar right there for him. Oh yeah. Let's go. What's the green hat? Easy money. Is that too much hat? Yeah. Okay, okay. So a little left. Little left. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> I know. I don't know that. Right here? Yeah, it don't matter. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Last time. Uh, easy. Easy, no pause. Easy, no pause. 
Uh, it was it was fast. It was fast? Yeah, it's fast. Just because it's only four or something, you know. I know, but still though, it's still, <laughs> you said you, you haven't been benching as much. Still, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the way easy? Got this shit for ten. Tight. Focus. Come on, Lee. Easy money, Lee. Stay tight. Let's go. Good. Nice. Cash. Nice. Way to go. Cash. Nice. Keep them elbows tight. Elbows tight. Go, Lee. Go. Elbows tight. Go. Elbows tight. Elbows tight. Elbows tight. Elbows tight. You are a bad dude, pigeon. Horrible. No. Anyone could have done that, dude. <laughs> Lee is a bad little dude. It's because of that little pigeon head he did. Okay. 595, basically six bills right here. Six bills. I've only hit 10 more pounds more than this ever lifetime PR, and he's in this shit for warm up. That shows you how strong he is. It's like a third of last one. Crazy, crazy. Shut One more time. It's a bad dude. First 600 pound bench. We're breaking through the threshold, ain't we? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We need that. We need that. We need that energy all up in here, dog. Oh, this is gonna be the Let's go. Gym lift in history today. For sure. Maybe I haven't lifted good. anything over besides a comp. Oh, easy money. Easy money. I don't know if I keep up with half today. I don't know if I keep up with half today. Let's go. Easy. Come on. Let's go, big boy. All right. Yes, sir. Easy, man. One, two. Come on, let's go. There you go. That's too easy, it's better. Come on. Not bad, I got lucky. I got lucky. Come on. Come on, Julius. Stay tight. Let's go, big dog. Easy money. Good. Yeah. Too that. easy. Too easy. So what do you want to do? Uh, just like if you want to like, set up a little bit closer. Okay. Or a little bit further. Like, yeah. When you came up, you were like, really close. To me. Okay. All right. Easy, easy. How you feel? Good. That feel good? Yeah, everything, everything was solid. Seven oh five. That's the first seven hundred uh, seven hundred pound bench in this gym. Probably in most gyms ever. You know, no joke. Seven oh five. You guys witnessed seven oh five. Easy too as a warm up. Like nada. Like nothing. <laughs> well, start with me, Leroy. Let's go. Nice. Nice hat. 
Easy 10, easy 10. I'm just keeping up with hack today, that's it. Because if I had a even uh, attempt to do half of what Julius does, I would have bust my shit open. So, right. I'm just keeping up with hack. You guys know the series, you know? And most of the time, I can't even keep up with hack, but I'm trying to keep up with hack. That's a good one, buddy. This shit's still heavy, though. That's easy enough. Up. Breathe it out. Let's go. That shit big. Butter. Good. Get it big. Butter. Come on, Oh, that's all of that. Good. That was hard. That was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. It might have been, we might be lower. Yeah. 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 So uh, it's got that itch, let's just get it. 771, call it an all-time PR, lifetime PR. Heaviest bench in the history of the world, 771, coming up. Where's Stephanie at? With those two and a half should have been, I thought it would have been. That's why I gave it, okay, well let's. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go. Uh, Let's go up. Yeah, let's go up. Let me get this. How the camera going? Thirty kilos. Two point two. Is this what's this? Is this seventy three? Yeah. This seventy one. You got the whole three hundred fifty kilos. So look at look at. Stand right there. Go right there. Three hundred. That's good. That's good. Three hundred fifty kilos. All right, on this. Yep, that's it. Okay. That's all that. As long as Hack looks jacked. I'm working on it. I'm going to get ready. Let's get it. All day, baby. All day, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Julius. Big Easy money. way. Come on. What do you think? Come on. Let's go big dog. Pretty. Easy money. Easy oh. oh. money. Easy Hell yeah. Damn. Woo. Did you grab it? No, yeah. Oh, I got the end. What do you Okay, got? all right, cool beans. 
Damn. Oh my gosh. I went too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's in silence. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's quiet. Oh my gosh. That was easy, dog. Well, I was, uh, that was easy. I wouldn't balance, though. Like That was easy. For some reason, I was losing my foot. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that was real easy, man. That was easy, huh, Hack? Yeah, you, you did good though. You, you punched oh, it up, dog. Yeah, That's what I was worried about. Like, I was like, man, okay. Okay. you punched but it up. Like, nah, that. So, with that heavier down. weight, yeah. the leverages are different because I'm so far, like you said, I'm so far down. So, yeah. Talk to it's, replay, it's, tough on, it's tough on the, the road benches. Let's today. talk about it real quick. So, give us a breakdown real quick of what you've seen as, as an observation. Uh, so, on the road bench here, the J Cups are a lot, a little bit deeper. So it's kind of hard to lift off with that that much weight, especially. I mean, typically, if I prefer it to be a ghost bench, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, simply because the setup. I'm just saying, me preferably. Yeah. That's what I'm used to benching on. So uh, it just makes it hard when you're coming up, especially with that weight we were talking about earlier. Driving like, back. Start coming over your head and just clipped it a little bit. Um, big, was able to get over that. That's impressive, though. I'm fucking. I'll do that, boy. I'll fuck do it. I was like, I'm with the cartel. I can't fail now. <laughs> How did it feel though? Oh, it was it was it was surprising really. Yeah, how, yeah, how fast it came up the chest. Oh, that shit flew. Yeah. Ridiculous. So what do you think? Eight hundred there? Eight hundred. Eight hundred there. Yeah. It's ready. We're ready yeah. to go. Ready to go. Let's get it, man. Damn. No, that was easy, dog. Yeah, this is the it's the easy part. We're about I mean, to get to the hard part here in a second. Usually, usually <laughs> I'm like, uh, you know, come on, like go, like you're fine. It was just like, I yeah, like it. breathtaking. I, yeah, like, I was just uh, speechless. You that's know? awesome, man. Pretty that's much, awesome. Huh? I mean, you no, see I appreciate it. you guys, man. Appreciate the help. No, no, no you just, you know, that was crazy, dog. Yeah, yeah. We're about to get the science behind it. We're about to hit this accessory work up, and uh, we're gonna finish up strong. I don't know, man. I was trying to raise you to 800. I think you're gonna beat me. Yeah. Oh man, listen, it's okay. We're on the same team, guys. He's talking about squat, though. Oh so, yeah, no, 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 no. I can't squat. With it's coming, it's coming, man. He's starting to race the 800 for squat. You on bench? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's what do, do you think? What do you think? Let's race it. What, what do you, I'm, what? I'm like, I'm like 70 pounds away. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, great day, man. So, solid. typically solid I would day. drop down and get some drop down sets. Um, though my, my shoulders bother me still a little bit. So, we're just going to go right to accessory work. And over the next three weeks leading up to the next meet that me and John Hack's going to have, uh, it's a ghost It's the ghost and hybrid meet down in Miami. Um, I'm going to get a lot of volume in. I'm going to back down the weight because, I mean, we know the strength is there, right? So now that we know that the strength is there, we're just gonna kinda, you know, find a medium weight anywhere. I mean, which some people will say that's a lot, but probably between 600 to 650, get some volume in over the next couple yeah. weeks. Yeah. Just so I'm not going as heavy, kinda preserve my, my body, get my central, let my central nervous system um, get back in line. Because that's a lot of load on the, just working up to that. Think about it, that's we Man, uh, you know that what was I mean? crazy, that was crazy, man. So just a recap of the bench. For those of you who don't know, a lot of times, so, so a mistake is, for me today was that I set up a little too far up on the bench instead of sliding down more, but because of the way the J cups are, it would have been harder for him to, to give me a handout because of the leverages, right? If I was a lot further down the, down the yeah. bench. So he would have had to pick up and come out more, which is really awkward and weird because that puts my shoulders. That's why I always get... We're gonna be there. Do we want to like? We could practice a three-man liftoff. That might help a lot. Yeah, that probably so. We're gonna need that. I mean, well, three-man liftoff is not bad. Yeah. I mean, like. I'm not saying like then, like you can set up further. I can reach out and make it kind of help. That's true. But again, if somebody touches the weight, yeah. all it takes is just a and you're just pulling a bump, and it's yeah. over. Yeah. But your lockouts were solid. Every single one of them. Yeah. So it's. Uh, I think we'll be on a different bench. Something that I'm used to. Yeah. And it, it won't be a problem, okay. so we'll, we'll be we'll be good. But yeah, if, if O'Bringer doesn't come, then I'm, I'm gonna have to. If that's okay, I'll have you lift off if you want. It'd be, it'd be appreciated. So yeah, we're prepping. This is what real. This is what we. This is what real pro pilotters do. You got to plan months out before. You got a game plan to get it together months out before. Because seriously, if you have the wrong person hands you out, a lot of times they can throw you off, and it can be uh, you know. Uh, uh, it could be on the verge of you missing the lift, right? So we have to make sure, as being, uh, I we would say, pro power lifters, you have to follow up on the smallest things, guys, the smallest things. And uh, I'm glad you guys got to witness history being made again. So it was a little sloppy, a little sloppy. I admit that. I need to work on it. But I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i take it, definitely take it. 
Yeah, yeah no, I was. That yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that was, I mean, like what I was just saying is this, I'm nervous for you just because I know how you say one wrong thing, left, right, front to back, whatever, blow your shit out, oh, you yeah. miss groove. I know how scary that shit is, man. So well, I was just holding my breath free, like, you know, and, yeah, you, you and it, it was over. It was yeah. over, you know? That's good so, stuff, man. Yeah, it was, so, it was no joke, man. So here's a repeat. Let's see. This will be, have you, did you watch it yet or no? No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, man, I'm like good in this. <laughs> hey, he's like John Claude Van Damme, dude. Yeah. Wow. That was so fast, dog. Wow. That was crazy. Hey, that's dangerous, bro. <laughs> that's dangerous. I was surprised. Like, oh, it's shit. Wow. Man. Hey, we're going to shock the world with this one. I mean, it's quick. Just at that time. This is crazy. crazy. I was fast, dog. That's crazy. That's I'm weeks. mind blown. Heaviest bench ever in history here, right yeah, now. For sure. You got for two sure. weeks. For sure. next, the next one, yeah, I'm about to wreck it. Yeah, so today we set a record. Seven, seven, a gym lift, 771. Though, I feel, I mean, it's not my you best. You did 770 in comp? 770, today was, a, was an actual PR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I've done That's your highest ever bench. Highest bench ever was today, right here. Yeah, seven. that's why I said it, it, it's pointless to, uh, like if I'm Woo! here with the, with the big dogs, I might as well go ahead and, I was in the bathroom, I'm like, God, it's time to turn up, let's go, let's turn it on, so, you know, you gotta you, push you yourself, You poop or pee in the bathroom? Huh? You poop or pee? Pee? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, it's, it's a, sometimes it's a poop. Right. I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, you get nervous, you know, you get the bubble guts, and you're like, look, I better go. I get those pro squats, yeah, man. Yeah, you got yeah. going on. You, you gotta little... go ahead and, go ahead and leave yourself. Just put a 30 second in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah, that's what like, like, I went and used the restroom and I'm sitting there, I close my eyes, kind of meditate, like praying, like, God, look, let's let's, yeah. let's gas it up. Yeah. Let's go. So I was like, look, add some extra weight on there. Let's get let's go ahead and make it a PR. Yeah. Right. I, wait I was time. fast, dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest, that looked faster than the 705 to me. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you think, uh yeah. hack? Like the out the bottom? To me? Yeah. The top is just a little shaky. Yeah, but yeah. it's because you hit, but yeah. it looks yeah. out the bottom like faster than 705 to me. It probably, I mean, I probably was still warming up, man. Ah. Hundreds of warm up. Look at him. Still warming <laughs> That's up. Yeah. Right That's a bad dude right That's there. That's a bad dude right there. That's a bad dude right there. You gotta give me a shirt that says that. <laughs> That's a bad you dude. Drop, you gotta drop that. That's a bad dude shirt. That's a bad dude. New here. Yeah, I gotta cut down. We're gonna, we're gonna do rounds, right? Yeah. So everybody's gonna do as many reps as as they can. Then the next person will come in. Then you'll just get back in line. Okay. We're gonna keep going until everybody taps out. Let's oh, do it. Let's do it. Let's get it. You know Lee's gonna tap so out. So if you see it, we have a resistance band attached to the weight stack. Uh, yeah, this is a hack. This is a Julius Maddox bench hack. So we, we're adding more resistance to the weight stack, right? It's a different kind of resistance. So you have to fight it up and you have to fight it down. Let's go. God. There you go. Shit. Come on. It don't matter the reps. Just, just rep them out. Break them out. No number. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Drive. There you go. Come on. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Yeah. It, it gets rough. About round three or four. It's a great way to get some volume in. Assume like I don't, I don't be working. I mean, like, just take it on this big. This you be big. Like, it didn't take me nearly dying to, to this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. You off the ground. That's a yeah. You like that? Yeah, no, that's good. Let's go. Well, it's a different resistance. It's constant. Like no, we're gonna go up. Let's go. To the moon. To the moon. Nothing. I mean, he's got a hat. You got a hundred? Uh, yeah, we're going for a hundred. Ain't nothing. 
Six right here. That's what we're going for. 106. I got 105. Big boy's gonna beat me at 106. What do you have right now? Five, twenty-five. Let's go. Come on. Crank him out. Let's go. Come on. Drop it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Finish strong. Let's go. Outwork me. Outwork me. Let's go. 90. Let's go. Outwork me. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. I love it. Yeah, let's go. Now I need that 800, 771 bet. Now I just need that 771 bet, John. Is that how you got there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doing stuff like this, man. I'm going to go hit, who wants to see me go bench 771 now? Yeah. Since I beat Julius on this, I'm the man now, right? Let's go. Come on, 772. Let's go. 772. You got that, that mound back there. Mine don't even do that. Oh, yeah. You got that shit. Look, it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's all there. I can't turn my neck that far, so I can't. Me neither. Look. Look, look. Is it there? Look. Look. Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Can you? Can't even see. Show you. Hat got it. What do we He's showing the try. Out. It's a bad little he's try. That's one. Yeah, yeah, he's got the horseshoe. Yeah. Uh, he's, got little, little, he's got the striations going on. Oh, yeah. 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 Mine's a little baby. Yeah. Yeah. In the mirror. Oh, he knows. In his, in his little thong. Are you competing? Yeah. He's doing. Uh, you got a coach yet? Yeah. What is it? You got a coach? You got a coach? Wellness, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that a new, is that like a new gym or something? Like, we're in the market? No coach yet. Okay, awesome. Yeah, he, do you want him to be a he, you coach? Yeah, um, I'm, seven, look, I'm 82 weeks out. 382 weeks out. It's 80, 80, 81 and a half. Uh, 381 and a half. Oh, 381.256? 381. Yeah, weeks out. Weeks out? Yeah, so. And uh, two hours? Look, I almost. Me and a, a buddy of mine, he's, he's a hockey pro, and uh, I was going to uh, actually get on stage, buy everything, and, and go get. No, I was gonna get on stage like this, <laughs> get the spray tan and everything, and just get out there and do my thing, you know. You kill it, dog. I'm you just, got the pro card. Easy. Oh yeah, it's there. It's there. I mean, it's there. You can't tell about this physique right now, but all needs a quick cut. Quick, uh, a quick two week cut. He's yeah, there. Yeah, quick two week cut, and I'm, I'm there. I mean, I dropped. It, with my diet and my cut techniques to, uh, you know, when I've cut down, he'll, he'll get there in like two seconds. I, I usually take six and a half days to cut, uh, to get the show ready. So I think I can take you in about seven and a half. Seven and a half days? Yeah, yeah well, I'll be down to like two, 242. Uh, no, 244.8. 244.8, yeah. so I'm, we're thinking about it. I, I'm not saying that I'll be able to even stand up on stage though. We're just talking about just cutting, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be able to, at 242, I'd, I'd be dead. I'd be sick. <laughs> I'd be sick. So, yeah, uh, comment below if you want Julius to go up on stage and me to be his um, his trainer, his coach, and do his whole diet, all salmon, fish, cod, uh, clam, shrimp, uh, scallops, all that. That's the diet I'm going to have him on, seafood diet. We should learn most coach so we can like talk with our facts. Say what? Oh, no. Like, hey, that's really cute. Oh, yeah. I'm married, though. <laughs> that's a bad, bad dude right there. Let's start well, the show today. Listen, guys, y'all seen it. We wrecked some stuff. 
uh, on the on the uh, fly. We did a 771. 800 is definitely uh, we didn't do it. attainable. Yeah, we didn't do it. We were listen, just y'all, y'all like, <laughs> listen, come on, come Michael, on. We're Michael like, Jordan, Michael Jordan no. wouldn't have been able to do it without his squad with him. You know, so Hell yeah, it's great to have people. Uh, again, I talk about this all the time on my channel. Um, it's great to have people that support you, that are loyal, that push you uh, to strive for uh, greatness. And that's what we're getting, man. We just, um, we're on the same team. We're just trying to push each other to reach new heights so uh, we can bless you guys with the content and give you guys motivation uh, to reach your new heights. So, um, yeah, today's 771. The heaviest bench ever on the planet was set here at Threshold. It's crazy. Um, and definitely uh, considering the, the circumstances, and as you guys have seen from uh, Vegas all the way here to, um, where are we, Ontario, California. Ontario, yeah. California. It's, it's definitely been a journey, but uh, man, we got that action today, definitely. Yeah, I was speechless. I mean, like I was telling Julius earlier, like, you know, when you go, when you see someone go for a big dad or whatever, even a big bench is a little struggle, like, come on, yeah. oh shit. Like, you're on edge. This was like, I was so nervous and I know how crazy bench is. It's, yeah. You know, and it, it just took my breath. Like, I didn't even say anything until you got it. <laughs> I think the whole gym was. Yeah, the think, whole gym yeah, was silent. Was Everybody was quiet and watching. I mean, not one person was saying a word. Yeah. And then dope. because you and I, we've never really had a full on training. I've seen you bench and yeah. comp. I don't know. Some people don't like the encouragement. Like, come on, Julius. I love it. Some people want their mind to yeah. be clear. I don't know. So. I love it. Uh, I, I love it. I don't, me personally, I'm not that type of lifter to where I go crazy before. I want yeah. to conserve all energy because yeah. it takes so much out of me. 100%. But when, when I have people around me rooting and people, their cameras are out, it's like it's showtime. Oh, you know, yeah, I feel you like Brady. Show I'm like Brady in the pocket, oh, yeah. man. It's game time. <laughs> we got four minutes left. You know, fourth quarter. It's time to it's time to get it in. So uh, again, championship game yeah, right there. You know, man. We, we got to win the Super Bowl. Uh, Brady's. We, we got to have Brady win it. He's, uh, he's got to go all the way. Look Chiefs look fucking good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can't bet against Brady. Yeah. <laughs> he finds a way. Yeah, yeah no, for uh, sure. But yeah. it was definitely a blessing. Uh, you showed out, big guys. dog. I mean. Yeah, more to come, man. You got to teach crazy. me how to ride the skateboard, bro. Yeah, that's any time, any time. You know, I'm a pre uh, professional uh, skateboard coach now, you know? So I, I, I professionalize in showing people how to skateboard over 300 pounds. You can hold 400. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't want to use, yeah, we don't wanna use your uh, blue sleepboard. That board is sick. It's sick. It's you sick. gotta, you gotta get. Um, that board is a nine. You probably need like a ten. Is it like width? width? Width, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you see the these nine. Yeah, what size? Sixteen. Yeah, so. Uh, Sixteen. Yeah, what was Shaq? Twenty-two. Oh yeah, shit! Shaq's you ain't got, got, got shit on bro. Shaq, dog. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> No, like but you, but but you weigh as much as Shaq. Oh yeah. Shaq was what like 400, huh? Probably 400, 410, something around there. I think. <laughs> that's a big. That's a big dude. That reminds that's me of like uh, Brian Shaw. Yeah. Even like Brian Shaw. Yeah. Like, oh my God. I don't see many guys that are that I feel like huge. Like, oh, yeah. But he's he's one of them. Brian like, Shaw's one of them. Yeah, he's one of them. I was like, wow. I <laughs> actually up? try wow. not to take pictures with people like super big. <laughs> yeah. Like Maddox here. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I, 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 I try the same thing. You know. There's a. That's I was, why I always take pictures with uh, people smaller, 100 pounds less than me. He's 100 pounds plus. Yeah, know? 100 pounds plus. So it's all good. Yeah. See how you doing me? Yeah, we're just trying to win, man. It's all about winning, right? And when's the comp? When's, when's your guys' comp? So we got a comp 19 in. 19 days. How many? 19. 19 days. It's on the 21st, right? 21st, 21st in Miami. Sunday. Hell Sunday, yeah. yeah. Hey, so if you guys are out there in Miami, you're going to see. Um, Records being broke that day, man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We got Julius and Hack going for some world records, man. Hack I mean, already got the world records. Julius already got the world records. So they're just breaking their own, you know? Yeah, we got, well, we got 800, 800s coming uh, in June. So I'll be benching 800 pound uh, bench press. In June? In June. I'll be there. At Wrigley's, uh, Wrigley's Field. Oh, so yeah. uh, during the Cardinals, uh, during the Cardinals game. Okay. So the Cubs and the Cardinals. Never been done before, huh? Something in stretch. That's, That's what crazy. we was gonna do at seventh inning stretch, but they don't know if they're gonna have enough time to get everything prepped because it's gonna be on TV again. Um, oh, it's gonna be live. I'm gonna have you guys down there. It's gonna, hey, it's gonna, it's gonna be, be dope. Gonna, you gotta try oh, to get yeah. the squad down there so we can just be looking thick in there. <laughs> looking deep. Like, looking deep. I'm from the Midwest. So looking deep. Man, come up. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna party afterwards. Um, cheeseburgers and steaks for everybody. Oh yeah, get deep dish. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> deep dishes. Deep it's, dish. it's, it's gonna be a big party, man. I mean, you're talking Wrigley's Wrigley's Field, like it's crazy. The it, the, the the atmosphere is gonna be crazy and something that's never been done before. Eight hundred pounds. So bench. we're just waiting on this uh, sponsor from McDonald's. That's all we're waiting on. 
I'm Hell calling yeah. it right now. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah, I'm loving it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you guys know I love McDonald's. Oh, yeah, we're going to make McDonald's. I know that I've tried the whole Disney menu. Uh, sponsor, so like, I've tried the whole uh, menu. Super Bowl, they asked uh, MVP. I'm, like, going to Disney. I'm going to Disney. Yeah. You're trying to get that McRib, huh? Yeah, I, I do. Well, what's your favorite thing McDonald's? Listen, I'm about to give you guys a fat hack, okay? Listen, listen, listen. You got to get you a McChicken with Big Mac sauce and cheese. Tur I'm telling you, it's different. It hits Damn, different. Big Mac sauce, Big and, Mac cheese. sauce and cheese on a McChicken. I do love cheese and onion. Oh, you ch cheese guy? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, Lee. No, no, Lee. Lee. Yeah, Lee, Lee loves cheese. Uh, I don't need cheese. I don't need. I don't fuck with. Oh, you don't like cheese? No, no. Bro, I'll still, I'll still, I'll still, Wisconsin. Still, no, no, don't give him one. Take that back. Take that dab back. Wow, I see. Yeah, you see. Two hundred dollars a pound. Wow. Yeah. Dude, he doesn't like cheese, cheese. dog. <laughs> you don't like cheese? Nah, Who no cheese. Like cheese. Talk me up. John gets a lot though. Cheese guy. Cheese he throws pedals every time he eats cheese. <laughs> 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 I hear me giving you a hard time, though. <laughs> Look, it's funny. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Say you can make double, you put a McChicken yeah. in between. Yeah, man. see, you could. So, uh, with the cheese, the onion, the lettuce, Big Mac sauce, and it's, I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. It's different. It's the best one? It's the best one. Best that little hacker right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mickey D's hack. And if you're feeling saucy, hack, hack. if you're feeling, oh, if feeling, if you're feeling a little extra, you like the sweeter side of it, you take the honey sauce and you pour honey on it. Yeah. So McDonald's has honey you're sauce. You're a sauce guy, huh? That's oh, good, sauce guy. Sauce right guy. Yeah. yeah. Sauce. That's sauce. some good healthy fats and sauce. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah <laughs> some healthy say. calories, you know? It's some, oh, you guys oh. are looking to lose weight. Um, I'm thinking about <laughs> writing um, Julius's uh, diet program. I'm going to sell it to you guys. You guys will lose weight in no time. No time. Reverse deficit. Yeah. So, it's never been done before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna set a world record. Yeah, it's like my 900. We're gonna life. lose weight by I'm, eating I'm more like calories. A nine Think about right that. Now. A nine-month refeed. Yeah. So what do you? What's your diet consist of? Whatever. Cereal. Yeah. Cereal. I love cereal too, man. Cereal's legit. What's your go-to cereal? My go-to cereal is O's. You ever had O's? O's. Like Cheerios. I've never had O's. Cheerios. No, they're called O's. They're oh, like graham cracker, little graham cracker. Uh, I like cereal toast crunch. Man, yeah, you've got the, the post makes I'm smart, telling you. Huh? I've, I've seen them. I it's a cereal that smart. people sleep on. The best cereal I've ever had. I'm a Lucky Charms guy. Lucky Charms? I'm I actually uh, chose wasn't Fruity Pebbles, Zach. I, yeah. <laughs> I actually uh, I went through a phase where I'd just order like just marshmallows and eat that as like a oh. post-workout carb. Oh, uh, Lucky Charms? Yeah, just like the just the marshmallows. Just yeah. the marshmallows. Yeah, that's dope. Man. Yeah, I'm more of a cookie guy. Cookie guy? What kind yeah. of cookies? Oh, any Woo. kind of sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. Sugar uh, cookies. Snicker is top. doodles. Sni bro, oatmeal. Snicker. <laughs> oatmeal. I, I will eat with the ice cream. Oatmeal. though? Are you a huh? with the ice cream? With the ice cream. Middle? Cookie ice cream sandwiches. I, I, I prefer, if anything, I prefer just to uh, let my uh, pour milk on top of my hot uh, cookies. Hey, don't you ever done that? Tasty no. tea. Never you never that. poured milk. You like cheesecake. I like cheesecake. Put him on. Put him on. I'm about to turn you on to the best cheesecake you ever had in your life. I'm going to sit my guys down here. This is like Baby D right here. Hey, he knows all the about snacks. Every day. I know all the snacks. Baby D right here. The ones with the sprinkles in the middle yeah, and glitter yeah. coming out. I, I got to What about that new, what about that new oh, Twinkie yeah. coming out? Oh, it's got everything. It's got Starburst in it. You buy into it, 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 it shit busts all in your mouth. Busts all, bust all out. But yeah. seriously, the Tasty Tea's Cheeks. Tasty Tea. I get, I get excited talking about it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Tasty look at him, Tea's Cheesecake has the best cheesecake. They're out of Las Vegas, and they travel to Southern California on the weekends. But I kid you not, his cheesecake is the best. I think snack I can eat I've more cheesecake than you. I bet you couldn't. Hey, that's, yeah, a, that's, a <laughs> that's a challenge. That's a challenge. I'm gonna see if he's in town. I already beat him on the donut challenge. Did you? Did you who won? Uh, TD. T, was it TD? TD did a magic trick. No, trip. no, no. He didn't win. Who? Somebody ate more donuts than we did. You gotta, you gotta throw a little clip in there of the recap. Yeah, of the you're donut right. Challenge. I gotta, I gotta remember who did it. I don't, I don't know. I, know who I just know I ate more than Julius. He he wasn't trying to mess with me on the donuts. What do you eat before, like the night? Before? But I have to like before night be, nights before meets. It just depends what city I'm in, and if I don't want to eat something foreign. Yeah. And the next day, be, I've done it before, and I was miserable the next day. So, in and out. In and out. In and out. How many? In and well, out. Well, how two. Many? Two four by fours. Uh, yeah, four two, by fours. Two doubles. That's it. Yeah, two doubles. Animal that style fries. Shit. I mean, I don't want to go in like bloated, looking like the bl uh, the blimp before <laughs> I go hit a one rep max. Get the fries, get the carbs. You only want a yeah. little, you want like a four to one carb protein I get two ratio. four by fours, a double double. A double you double. are lying. Serious. <laughs> they go like this, 10 patties down. That's what they say, you know? Are you serious? Yeah, though, for be real? serious, yeah. You can eat that much? Yeah. I can't, I, I, I can I, eat four four so, by fours. I don't know what it is. I can't eat that much. I will eat, eat that much. but I can't yeah. eat. 
Sab, do I eat that much? You don't eat that much. Dead serious, I really don't, man. <sighs> All I've had today was uh, um, Cuban style rice and beans with uh, uh, cilantro yeah, Cuban, and an omelet. Uh, do, do I look Cuban a little bit? Yeah. You do after you eat that Cuban style. <laughs> huh? Yeah, after you eat yeah, that okay. Cuban That's, style, you look a little in, Cuban. Yeah, so. Looking like Tony Montana. I wouldn't look like Scarface. Me. He ain't jacked. Yeah, no, but he's <laughs> Cuban. He's Cuban. <laughs> you look that Cuban part. We got some, uh, what do we got on the menu right now? What are they called? I don't Pupusas? know. Pupusas. Pupusas. Yeah. We're about to eat some pupusas. We're, we're going to see how many I can eat, how many he can eat. Yeah. He can't, he can't mess with me on the eating. I th I'm pretty sure I'll beat you on the donuts, though. He, he just, I just, I just take him to the neck. I don't even chew him. I take him to the neck. I just, just shove him down in there. Yeah. Skip the mouth. Yeah. That's it. To the neck. You got but yeah, we got, we got the big I'm bench in today. Yeah. 771, Julius. I oh, appreciate dope. it, big dog. Appreciate you, appreciate homie. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate it uh, so that to witness it, man. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. It's a blessing, man. I knew, like, coming down here, I was like, man, I got to do something crazy. Yeah, like, crazy. this is just, uh, you know, every time we link up, it's magical, right? Hell, yeah. It's like going to Disney World. And we had Hack in the picture. Oh, you know? yeah. I was trying to His biceps were on, on 10 today. I know, oh, yeah. I mean, they were popping. Look at him. He has that big old farmer tan going I on. I know, right? The road map. Actually, it's not even a farmer tan. It's a farmer burn. <laughs> no, it's not know. really a tan, but it'll become a tan. It's a fat farmer it burn. Yeah. So it's just transitioning right now. Hell yeah. All right. But well, guys, we appreciate you. Appreciate the love. Tune in. There's hey, more to come. Make sure you follow Julius too. I'm going to tag his YouTube channel appreciate down below. That. Appreciate and that. his IG. Same will hack. Hack's yeah. not too active on the YouTube, but follow his IG. You know, show him some love. Number one guys in the world ever right now, not just current, but ever. So make sure you follow these guys, man. Putting out motivational content every single day.